Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my March Boxy Charm, which is actually my first Boxy Charm I've ever uh, received. Um, so this is how the box comes. And I'm very excited. Um, when I saw the whole thing, I was just on the wait list for so long. And then one day I got the email saying that I had finally got off the wait list. So I am very, very happy. Okay. So this month's box was called Vacation. And in the back of the card, it has the information of all the items in here, as well as the manufactured retail value. Um, so let's get into it. Um, the first item, which is something I have actually already tried, it is the uh, three uh, eye gel packs from South Main. And they are these little packs uh, that have two, you can see the kind of uh, indentation in there but there's two little jellies in here which uh, if you do ever get something like this um, don't be like me and try to rip it open in excitement uh, because some of the <laughs> liquid that is on the jellies can come out um, so you open it up and are, they are these little cool little uh, refreshing little jellies that go under your eye I've got this little piece of hair that's just annoying me right now <laughs> and um, so you put them under your eye and you leave them on for 30 minutes and my first time I tried these I saw a significant difference um, the redness from under my eye had uh, disappeared as well as I was extremely hydrated under my eyes which I don't think I've ever been that hydrated under my eyes um, it does say use promptly after opening and the, for the best results, use three uh, three days consecutively, um, which I didn't. Uh, I have tried these a couple days ago, uh, but I do want to try actually trying these the morning of my next full-faced uh, day of makeup. I want to see if there is a difference um, that way uh, because I, I felt an amazing uh, difference just relaxing and having it on. Um, I am going to be using some of these products today. I already have a foundation, concealer, and my eyebrows done. From my previous video, you can actually check out my first impression of some new foundation and some new concealer. Uh, that's the video I did before this one, if you want to check that out. Um, but what I like about the back of this card is that it does tell you the price of everything that's in here. So the under eye gels have an uh, up, they are retailed for ten dollars. Uh, so for ten dollars you get three packs of je uh, eye jellies, and it says um, <clears throat> our under eye gels are great for an easy mask without the cleanup, which is very true. I'm oh, sorry, I feel like I got something on my nose. <laughs> uh, they're soften they're soften and moisturizing to ensure that you look refreshed and rusted which I definitely believe is, hands down, a very accurate description of this uh, product. I loved it. Um, next, we have a Pretty Vulgar Blush. And this is um, from the brand Pretty Vulgar. And it's called Make Them Blush. And it is, um, I believe the color is... Prim Vixen, and it is a, I love this case, by the way, it is plastic, but it's a very, pretty, very, very pretty case, and if I can get it open, right, oh, there we go, it is very pretty, very matte, which I like, I don't like when the blush is glittery, I don't like that, so I like that it's matte, and it says... Uh, again, the MSRV was $26, so this blush alone is $26, um, and it says, Make Them Blush Powder Blush awakens your complexion and provides a natural glowy flush to your cheeks. This silky smooth formula is long wear and highly pigmented. 
The buildable blush powder can be worn alone or paired for a multi-dimensional pop of color that will flatter any complexion. I am very light skin, um, and this is pretty pigmented, so let's just swatch it and see. Ooh, that is pretty pigmented. We may have to go a little light on this. <laughs> we may have to go a little light. That it may be a little little pinky for me, but we'll we're gonna try that out in a minute. Um, I we have a vintage cosmetics company smoky eye makeup brush set. Um, uh, and there's three brushes in here, and the uh, value uh the retail value is twenty twenty three dollars and fifteen cents. Um, so there's three brushes in here. It's a shadow brush, an angled shadow brush, and a smudger brush. Oh, I think I opened it upside down. Yeah, sure did. So it comes in the box, and all three are individually wrapped. I have not played with these yet. I know. <laughs> I love brushes so much. Um, so this is the smudger brush. This would be the angled blending brush. And then what they call this one? Uh, this is just the shadow brush. And, oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. So the brushes actually have um, some writing on it. Step one, step two, step three. Step one says, step one for the money. Step two for the shadow. And step three, go, girl, go. That's pretty cool. We're actually going to try this today. Let's see how those come out. I have a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara. Which is, these are all full-size products. Every item that you see with BoxyCharm is full-size. Um, this is not like Ipsy, where Ipsy gives you sample sizes. These are all full-size products. Um, this is the volumizing mascara, and the mascara retails at $20. Um, so it is a full-size mascara, like I said, just to give you a little difference. This would be like a sample size that you would get from Ipsy, and this is the full-size product that you get with BoxyCharm. I just wanted to give you that little visual aesthetic difference. Um, <laughs> so this is the wand for the mascara, which we're going to play with in a bit. I've never tried Bella Pierre's um, mascara before, so that's very... Very interesting. It says, Bella Pierre's long-lasting volumizing mascara was formulated to help create thicker and fuller lashes. Alrighty. So the most, thing, the, the most exciting thing that came in this month's box is this right here. It is. I have not swatched any of these colors yet. So I am experiencing this first with you guys. It is the Pure and Complexion Authority Eyeshadow Palette. And this was exclusively made for BoxyCharm. You see BoxyCharm. And let's just remove the plastic. I do have a little indent at the bottom and where the black was kind of coming down but these are the colors you got four um three rows of four colors each in each row some of them are matte some of them are shimmery and wow i mean this palette just looks so great and there is a very large mirror to, yeah, that is a very nice size mirror. We're actually going to use this mirror too. So there's um, 
Oh, goodness. There's just so many colors here. Oh, I'm going to tell you, that blue, I am loving it. I want to really play with that blue. And, I mean, I've seen a lot of the, um, some um, tutorials with this palette in particular um, online. And I, I noticed that a lot of people were going for the blue and pink, which is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I don't know which ones to pick. They're so gorgeous. Um, so it says, this transitional palette can be used now or later to bring vibrancy back into your look. Our signature silky smooth ultra mattes are paired with pretty pinks and a vibrant blue to lighten the mood. Plus, you can layer a shimmer shade for a dual, duo chrome finish. Uh, and this palette retails for $36. So, for $21 a month, this palette alone is more, costs more than, like, you're, you're getting your money's worth if you're getting the BoxyCharm monthly. Just the palette alone is $36, and that's not even adding everything all up together. All right, so we're going to go in with some of the brushes. Um, I think, I think I'm going to start with one of my own fluffy brushes. And I think I'm going to take, um, oh, I can't tell. I think I'm going to take Belle to go all over my eye. Let's see how pigment these, these bad boys are. So I'm holding the brush not too close to my eye because I don't want to really pack it on too much. I just kind of want to get that color on there. Oh yeah, very nice. This seems pretty easy to go on. Let's see how they blend. I think that's what's important. I like this bell color. Very pretty. Oh, so that's pretty nice. It's got a... Definitely, you can see... Without even going too much... Or too heavy you could definitely see it picked up a lot of color there's not too 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 much fallout like it's not bothering me and under my eyes seem pretty clean so that's that's definitely awesome Oh, I'm telling you, I love that blue so much. So I got Belle all on there. And it kind of reminds me like of a, kind of like a peach, like a light peach. So we have, um... These are shimmer, like more of a chromey shimmer. We got Bay, which I'm actually going to go with Bay next. I'm going to take one of the new vintage uh, cosmetic company, and I'm going to dip into Bay right here. I do want to go with that pink. That pink looks gorgeous, but I just want to see if we can... Add just a little bit, just got a little bit on there. Yeah. These brushes are pretty stiff. They don't feel that flexible. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to use my own brush. I'm going to take that for the next color. But I'm going to take a... Uh, I'm going to take one of my Luxy brushes. I'm not a fan of how stiff that is. So we're going back into Bay. Oh, yes. The, the brush makes all the difference. Yes, honey. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe if I wash it, maybe I can condition it a little bit. Maybe it will... Uh, Maybe it will soften up for me, but at, at, as of right now, I'm not a fan of the brush. It, it's a little too, a little too stiff. I like flexibility with my brushes. So again, I'm hold, I'm not holding it tight. I'm holding it back here a little loosely. You know what I may do? I think I have an eye look I have not seen yet. So I've got that peachy pink really in there. They blend pretty nicely. So I'm going to take a thinner, more precise, my Vasanti brush, and I'm going to dip into this pink right here. And it's called BFF. I'm going to really, really intensify this pink real here. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. So I'm I'm getting this pink into the crease. And I'm blending it up into the bay color. which I'm gonna come back with a shader and just blend it in just a little bit more. But I really wanna get that pink in there. Oh yeah, I like it. So let's get this pink, really pretty pink. Oh, yes, I'm loving that matte pink. Oh, I am living for it. Oh. Very nice. Ooh, very nice. Okay. I'm gonna since this is a little stiff, I'm actually gonna take this brush and see if I can use it to blend it in a little bit more and see how I like it. It works a lot better for blending the lines and really like softening it up. So that's that's not that disappointing. It's it's still a little a little stiff for me. I don't like when when brushes are this hard, but they are new. They may require a little breaking in. Oh, I may have overblended that baby. <laughs> Let's just add a little bit more.
Yeah, I really like this pink. Ooh. All right, let's get some shimmers. Um, I'm gonna go now. I don't know if I if I should wet it or not. Um, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna try between this shimmer and these gold shimmers here. So I'm gonna play around with these and just see how they come out. Uh, this rosy kind of um, color right here is called ATL. I'm not sure if that means like Atlanta or the alt button on the computer, but let's see how it is dry. I'm going to put this on the outer corner just because I don't know how dark it's going to be. You know, that's, that's pretty dark. So we're going to keep that, I'm going to keep that on the, just the corners. And then I'm going to flip the brush over and I have Squad Charmer. I think I'm going to go with Charmer. Charmer's like a pink gold. Let's see how this one. Oh, that gives me the shimmer I want. Oh, yes. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm going it on the inner, and I'm not going all the way. Okay, the shimmer has a lot of fallout. So be aware of that. It has way more fallout than the matte shade. Uh, but that shimmer, and these are dry. I did not wet them. So I'm gonna go back in with this darker ATL color, and I'm gonna just add a little bit more to my corner. Just a little bit. Just so I can keep Charmer nice and bright. Ooh, yes. I'm just blending that in. So now, So now that I have all that, see that nice shimmer in the corner there? I can darken up my, my crease a little bit by going back in with Bay. I'm sorry, with BFF. And I can even take this sparkly boxy black and just take very little bit, very, very little bit. And just lightly get in that crease. And now you see how I put that on there, but I'm not going to blend with this one. I'm going to take that brush that I got from the, from the box and I'm going to use this one to actually blend it in. And that gives me just a tiny bit more depth than on this side. So again, I'm taking very, very little bit, extremely small amount. And I'm getting it on there. And then I take this brush and blend it in.
And that gives me more depth. on my crease. Then I can take one of the brushes that I had the bell color on and I'm just gonna blend that over again just to make sure that everything is all blended. Then I'm going to take um, I'm going to take my you know what? Let me use this one. I'm going to take the shadow brush and I'm going to go in with perfect right there. And I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. It's a matte shade, so it gives me just a little highlight, not too much. Oh, I like it. I'm just going to clean that up right there. I do have my I do have a little concealer on this. So I'm just gonna now we could just clean it up and then go back in and blend some more. Now I'm going to actually add just a little bit more see if I uh, I want to lightly wet it so you know what let me wet the towel and then see so I don't want to over wet it yeah just a little bit Ooh, that was nice, a little wet like that. I said I don't want to overdo it with making it like extremely damp. Ooh, I'm very happy with this palette. Now, I am obsessed with this blue. So, I'm going to take that Mia. Yeah, it's. I think it says Mia. And I'm going to put it on that smudger brush. Get a nice, oh, look at that blue. I'm actually going to put this on my lower lash line. Oh, look at that. Gives me just. Beautiful pop of color. Oh, I like it. Oh my goodness, this blue is to die for. I may have to do just a look for this blue. I 
Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh. So I use the smudger brush. And then, you know what? I should take this one. Just to really blend it all in. And then, I could take a little bit of this gold just to see. Mix it with that gold right here. Ooh, once I put some eyeshadow, uh, that liner on, that's going to look really nice. Okay. Uh, where is that other brush I just had? Oh, there it is. I'm just going to fix this up. Okay. All right. So that's the palette. Uh, let's go ahead and... Add a little liner. Yeah. You know, let me use my beauty blender. Oh, I like it. I like it very much. I ha I really didn't uh plan on doing any like wing tips or anything today. I'm just gonna add a little black to my lash line. Oh, that makes me sniffle. <laughs> We're going to add some of this mascara to see. Oh, I should. You know what? Let me put a little blush on. I haven't even contoured, so we're just going to throw some blush on to see. We're also going to go a little sparingly. We're not going to go a little nuts with this. We're going to see how pink it is. So I'm going without contour. Oh, that's not terrible. Oh, you know what? It's not picking up too much on camera, but it is pretty pigmented on my cheeks. Oh, yeah. You can definitely can tell I'm wearing blush. Ooh, my apologies. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. That happens to me all the time. So it's not overly. You can definitely see the pink difference. The light. Let me see if I just cover this. You can see it's pretty pigmented. Fresh delivery, but it's in the college. Oh my goodness! Do you know I'm recording? Oh shit. Oh. Hey! I got you. Eat the flowers! Oh my god! Check it out. Aww! <laughs> you didn't know? Huh? I forgot to call you until oh. you was recording. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Start the morning. Oh my god! Yeah, hey, uh, start the morning with the flowers. I just put makeup on, you're gonna make me cry! Eat the flowers. Oh my god. Babe. Look, I got a box of cats. 
Thank huh? you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I did not. That was not planned. <laughs> Thank you. You actually made me tear. Oh, Hold on one second. Let me fix this. I didn't mean. I'm sorry about that. I did not um, expect my husband to walk in the door with all these gorgeous flowers. He's so sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, I was not planning on that, so I'm sorry for the interruption. Um, and he didn't even know I was recording either. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Um, so, um, I put a little, just very little bit of contour on, um, just to kind of. Just to add a little depth to my cheeks, I didn't like how just the blush looked. Um, so I added a little, just a little contour, not so much. I did a little light, but you can see now that I added the contour, you can see that pink blush. Um, that blue, that pop of blue, I am in love with it. And right now we are about to, I'm not going to do any false lashes today. I'm actually going to um, just put on the mascara so I can see how it is a little chunky, which is kind of weird, but let's see how this goes. Now my favorite mascara to use is the Roller Lash. Because I love the way that brushes. That brush I feel like grabs every single lash. Um, this brush honestly feels like a, just a basic brush. Nothing really fantastic about it. But, I mean, we're just, let me see. Do a nice coat. Did get a little on my eyelid, but they are pretty voluminous. Voluminous? <laughs> Is that a word? Let me add a little to my lower lash line. I'm going to wait for it to dry on my eyelid before I try to remove it. So I'm going to dip the um, brush one more time in it to get the other side done. And what I do is that I start from the root and I go back and forth as I go up. Gentle rocking motions. Honestly, this mascara is not terrible. It's actually giving me a lot of volume. Nice length. Can you get my lower lash? I'm not a big fan of doing my lower lashes. I did get a little on the bottom, but once it dries, I'll be able to take it out. I mean, I'm not hating it. I mean, I'm not wearing falsies, and that looks pretty darn good. Okay, I manage it. 
So while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to, let me add a little highlighter. This is my new highlighter from Wet n Wild. I did get the uh, Spring Collection um, box. It's the whole Spring Collection with the Deaf to Holograph, uh, what is it, Deaf to, what's it called? It is the Gothographic Spring Holographic uh, Collection. Um, I haven't tried this, this one yet. Oh my God, this is gonna be impossible. Don't you hate when they make packaging like so amazing that <laughs> you can't get it out? It's literally like a peel sticker and I can't get it out. I'm trying with tweezers and hopefully I'll be able to grab onto it, which I'm not having any luck doing that. Okay, I got a little piece up. I may end up just ripping a little piece off and not the whole sticker. No, nope, I can't even get that up. My goodness. Okay, I got a little piece off after all that. So let me see how much I can get out of there. Maybe I can put some on there. Oh, okay, I got a good amount. So it's a loose highlighter. And this one was called again the where's the name? I just had the name. Oh, I'm sorry, it's called Moon Tears. So let's give this oh shit. Oh man, holy crap. Yeah, that has a, that's a nice, that is a nice glow here. Wow, that is a highlighter. Oh wow. Now, the collection I have uh, recorded a, a review for, without trying this but I probably will post it after this video so you can see everything I did mess up I kept calling the the, the liquid eyeshadows I kept calling them lip liners for some reason I don't know why but that's why I didn't post it but I know that some of the items you can get by itself without um ordering the whole thing and I think it, this is one of the items that is well worth it. Look at that glow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is a glow. Okay. Ooh, I'm loving that glow. Now, for a lip. What's this? Oh, that's a little purple. Um, let me see how this color looks. So this is a NYX. What is this one? Liquid suede cream lipstick. Let's see. Not bad. I don't have a liner that kind of matches this color. It's kind of streaky. Yeah. 
don't know. It feels kind of streaky. But I think I was able to get it on there. Oh, that actually looks very pretty with the color. So I'm going to take some of that highlighter again and just dust it right back over. My Cupid's bow. Oh, God, that highlight. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so overall, this is the look I created with most of the a March boxy charm items. Um, I know this is a long video, so I'll recap really fast. Um, the eye gels are uh, very <laughs> one of my probably favorites um, that I definitely enjoyed and saw a difference with pretty quickly. Um, 